Hi, this is Ben Ripley with Sunny Skies CBD. We are a soil to oil CBD company in Durand, Wisconsin. And today we will be discussing the most important factor to consider as a retailer looking for a wholesale distributor or partner, or as a CBD brand looking for a manufacturer. And that is lab results and COAs. You should not have to ask your supplier or your manufacturer to provide COAs. Those should be published on the site and preferably also accessible with a QR code on the label. All of our products have QR codes that bring up their cannabinoid potency COA. As far as the different lab results you should look for, A, you should look for a contamination test. So whether that is a, a heavy metals test, pesticide analysis test, or a microbial contamination test, uh, they should have all three for either their hemp or if that company is not a processor uh, and they're purchasing isolate or distillate, they should have those contaminant tests done on those extracts. The next lab result that you should see would be a residual solvent test for distillate and isolate to show that there are no solvents used in extraction left over in the product. You don't wanna be consuming those. And then finally, each individual CBD product should have a cannabinoid potency test uh, with a batch ID number. So every batch of CBD products should be tested. There should be a sample taken from that batch and sent to a third party accredited lab. So now we're going to look at a COA and highlight some areas to look out for for potential red flags uh, that warn that a manufacturer or a supplier is not doing proper lab testing. So we are looking at a cannabinoid potency test for our last batch of 450 milligram CBD freeze. So I'm gonna take you through a COA and show you different things to look out for. First, the lab that prepared the COA. In this case, it's Botanicor. Make sure that your manufacturer or that your supplier is using a accredited third-party lab. There are many out there uh, it's easy to see, just look up the, the lab's website. Next, this COA was prepared for us. We are the manufacturer. We actually submitted the sample for testing. If this information is crossed out, whited out, or it's nowhere to be seen on the COA, understand that you are in all likelihood not purchasing the product from the manufacturer. Uh, that it, the company you are purchasing the product from is a marketing company. They put their brand on another uh, company's product. There are plenty of good white label manufacturer companies out there. Uh, we work with many of them, but if that information is crossed out, you know that that company at least isn't being transparent with you. The next thing to look for is the amount of CBD actually in the product. Uh, this was a 450 milligram freeze. As you can see, we have 6.9 extra milligrams of CBD in this batch of product. That's not an issue. What is an issue uh, is if the product has much lower milligram content than reported on the label, uh, that's a problem for obvious reasons, or if it has hundreds more milligrams than what's on the label, that just shows you that the company doesn't have their manufacturing standard operating procedures in line, and they're not manufacturing consistent product at all. Next thing to look for are other cannabinoid levels, specifically THC. As you can see, this product has zero THC. It has zero uh, minor cannabinoids like CBG. We'll look at our full spectrum tincture COA to see what that would look like. Next, what is the date for the lab result? What date was this lab result prepared? If that information is missing or if it is months and months or years uh, ago, you can assume that the company is using an old COA to appear as if uh, lab testing is part of their process when in reality it, it isn't. Finally, you really need to check and make sure that there's a batch ID on the COA. Every batch of product for Sunny Sky CBD has a, has a corresponding batch ID. You can see it on the label here. This product was made in batch 0058. As you can see, that matches up with the, the batch ID number on the COA. 
If that information is either not available on the COA or on the label of the product, you don't know actually if that COA was even taken from a sample from that batch of product. It's basically worthless. So here's a full spectrum CBD tincture COA. The, a full spectrum tincture is made with full spectrum distillate. So it's going to have other cannabinoids that show up in your lab result. The most important one is THC. It's got to be under 0.3% THC to be a legal CBD product. This COA shows 0.04% THC, so good there. You can also check and see the other cannabinoids that are present in that tincture. In this case, we have 0.2% CBC, 0.1% CBDV, 0.2% CBG, and then we have the CBD and the THC, which is visible here under the main cannabinoid profile image. So then going through the steps to check, make sure there are no red flags that we did on the CBD freeze. We've got an accredited third-party lab, Botanicor. It was prepared for the company that we think it was prepared for, Sunny Sky CBD. We check out on our CBD levels. There is a batch ID that matches the batch ID number on the label, and this COA is not old, so we're good.